Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this uh, rainbow effect in Unreal Engine 5.1. So I'm going to show you how do I create the mesh required for the rainbow in Blender and then the material inside Unreal. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's first create a mesh for the rainbow. Let me delete this and add shift A to add and a circle. Now I'll rotate this under around x axis 90 degrees like this. So this is meters. Let me make it a bit larger. All right. Now shift control A to apply all transformations and press tab to go to edit mode and select all these vertices under the red line and delete them vertices okay now select the rest and press s no s so as you can see it's uh, scaling around some point over here so i'll scale it i'll make it use the 3d cursor which is here now it scales properly so let me press e to extrude and press S so that I can scale it like this and I think something like this for the rainbow should work the thickness like this should be fine right now we have our rainbow mesh so now let's go to UV editing and select all press u must reset okay right now uh, all the faces are mapped to this is square this tiled is square right now let me export this px Right uh, before that, let me go to object mode, share this one. We might see some of this uh, jagged space like this. It's not a smooth, which can look bad when we scale this. So it's fine. For now, export FBX X forward and it's a dot rainbow export. Okay, now inside our FX folder, I create a new folder rainbow and import that rainbow mesh I just exported right so this is how it looks let me scale it up 10 times maybe 20 times that's too much. 20 times, okay. And place it somewhere like this. Right, now 
if I just apply some texture okay yeah the texture looks correct we need a material now so first let's get some rainbow texture anything should work let's try this one i think we may have to rotate this but let's just see Oh, we need to have a different name than the rainbow otherwise we can't import this folder what is that I have some import errors let's try this one Okay, if I drag and drop this into the rainbow mesh, right now we do have the rainbow, but it doesn't look exactly like a rainbow. So let's go here. And I'll change this to uh, additive and apply. Okay. I think we should do some edits to the texture. Let me open Photoshop. While Photoshop opens, let me break this and promote to a parameter. Set opacity to like 0.3. And let me Open the texture here. Scale it down vertically a little bit. Select both edges and do a feather. Say 10. And delete. So we got some feather effect closer to the edge oh wait we can do better if i do a content aware fail that's not good if i select this part and stretch to fill i do the same thing here as well like this okay now let's select a square okay Shift I delete no undo and let's feather like penalty delete okay I think this would work better let me save rainbow texture on jpg right now we can re-import it Say, let me rename to TRB and import again. Yeah, now it looks correct. Okay, now let's use this texture instead of this one. And oh, yeah, we can multiply the opacity with this one. I think it looks better now. 
Well, what if I make it unlinked? Okay, and this one should go to MSU. No base color and the opacity. Let's see, point 0.1. That looks better, I think. I came back here and instead of doing the deletion with the selection I selected uh, eraser and reduce the hardness and deleted it like this now it did some improvement I think so right um, I'm still not really satisfied with the way it looks so perhaps we should increase the thickness of the rainbow a little bit so we can have more of a fade out area here how can we do that why did it not control Okay, now the edge is selected. Let's scale it like this. And I'll again export. And we import. Now it immediately looks bit better so now that we have more space we can see this fading out uh, edge over a larger area so it's not like it cuts out immediately also I added this power node and add another multiplier here so we will have a smoother more smoother edge so we don't see the edge now now a sharp edge at all right so i think we can stop this episode right here one more thing you should check this in a not in a clear sky but in a dark sky we have the weather dark yeah it still looks good okay so that's it for today thanks for watching as always project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye